Now let's go and end it off with the performance. This thing has the Qualcomm Snapdragon 730 chipset inside of it, Adreno 618 GPU, and two different models, a 6 gig of RAM model and an 8 gig of RAM model. Now I did get the 6 gig of RAM model, I think, and it was a pretty good performing phone too. Like I've mentioned before, having a phone with this type of experience, you already know what you're getting into. You know you're not expecting Galaxy S20 performance, you know, at that time, which is when I got it. You're not expecting S20 Ultra, you're not expecting iPhone 11 Pro Max or anything like that. You're expecting somewhat like a Google Pixel 4a type of experience. And I will say, I think the Pixel 4a is a smoother device, but this thing isn't that bad of a performing phone. You know, I think over time, like after using this thing for years and once it gets outdated, then it's probably going to be a little bit of a different experience. But as of right now, I had a really decent experience with it. I think it's actually pretty good for a majority of tasks you're going to do. And even taking it up to like heavy intensive games, I think this thing actually handles it perfectly fine. Now, I do think there's going to be more problems with the RAM management portion, especially if you get the 6 gig of RAM model, because this thing, especially the software, demands so many resources, you know, at all times. You can be using like a Pixel 4a with the same amount of RAM, but be getting better RAM management from the Pixel 4a because the software is more optimized on something like a Galaxy A51 or the A71 in this case, you're going to be getting good performance for sure, but you will always keep that in the back of your mind that it could have been so much better if the software was more optimized for the specific device. They are essentially just taking their software from their most premium, most heavy duty phones and just throwing it on their A series of devices too. And I don't think it's any more optimized on the S21s or anything like that, but for sure on a phone that doesn't have the latest chipset that's kind of has the lower amount of RAM for their whole entire series, you're not getting the most that you can from this phone. So I will tell you, I think it's a good performing phone for the price tag. I would have expected more though from a manufacturer from Samsung and hopefully within the next two, three years, they can go ahead and switch that whole entire stigma that they have and make a phone that's more stock Android and, and hopefully they can make a really good budget to your phone that's just like universally known and beloved. Something like a Pixel 4a in my opinion. So in terms of that, that pretty much covers it up there.